Tine and Tim, thank you so much for your time today. Um, as you know, people uh, had multiple options to vote for their favorite Belgian band of the 80s. Uh, I can tell you that almost 60 uh, bands uh, received votes in these uh, uh, polls. And I am uh, happy to tell you that not only uh, did you guys make uh, the top cut, but uh, Scavenger is the number 10 in the final results. Uh, so congratulations for that, which is great. But also, um, question for you, is it, is, is it somehow surprising to you guys, especially given that you're both newer members of Scav Scavengers, has had a few members throughout history, but um, that a band that has its roots, you know, 30, 40 years ago is still clearly so popular with people right now that uh, you guys are so top of mind? What's your reaction to that? Um... Well, uh, Scavenger was part of the legendary Mausoleum um, record label. So that was a very important uh, label uh, in the 80s for hard rock and heavy metal bands. Um, but yes, yeah, still uh, nowadays, a lot of people um, get to know Scavenger. And uh, even uh, yeah, the Battlefield album is uh, 35 years old, I think. <laughs> Um, still, a lot of people buy um, the CD or the vinyl. Um, there has been um, a reference by Golden Cool uh, from the Battlefields album some weeks ago. So a CD. Yes. It's not surprising to me that it is still popular because um, traditional heavy metal is still a big thing nowadays. Mm -hmm. Um, there's like two generations, a two generation thing going on. You have the old fans who perhaps saw Scavenger in the original lineup, know the bands, they saw the bands in the 80s, they lived through the 80s. But all those people also have kids and they have grown up and perhaps their kids know the bands as well. And it keeps the scene alive like that. Yeah, so it's not only it's not only in the in the crowd at a scavenger show now that you see younger people, also on stage because right? both of you are uh, well with with the band for some time now, but definitely not part of the original lineup. Um, for for those that are watching this interview that aren't fully aware of the story of Scavenger, how did both of you get involved with the band? Well, um, actually, it was very funny because I um, I saw a Facebook post um, from the Battlefields album. It was uh, a post from uh, Mark Herremont. It's uh, the original guitarist. Um, and yeah, I was thinking, damn, I don't know uh, this song. Who, who can this be? And um, I just checked it out. And I, yeah, I liked it a lot. But then, uh, uh, yeah. I put a, a big like on it uh, on the post, and then um, yeah, I started talking with Mark, um, and then he he was uh, yeah he was telling me that he was doing a reunion and uh, with with the uh, original um, drummer, but yeah, uh, it was not possible for the vocalist uh, Jan Buchen because, because he was uh, a bit ill at the time, and uh, no, he's not uh, here anymore. <laughs> But um, yeah, it was yeah actually um, um, a coincidence. It was a uh, yeah, it was it was it was, uh, yeah, it was just luck. Uh, <laughs> after um, Tina got involved, um, she told me that they were still looking for a bass player, and uh, then I joined them, um, and. The story rolled on and on and, on. and yeah, it just all came together. It was a friend of uh, Tina, Kevin, who was also asked to be uh, a second guitarist together with Mark. And uh, yeah, from from there on, the reunion was started. Yeah, yeah, just... yeah, yeah. We also did, uh, yeah. We also had some contact with all the original members. Um, they support us uh, all the time, and uh, also um, Patrick Vishoren, uh, the other uh, original uh, guitarist, and um, yeah, um, Roger, Roger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Ro- Roger Ja. Awesome. Yes. So okay. <laughs> I think uh, we were planning to do a scavenger uh, party at the summer with the original members. <laughs> yeah, we are going to see them all, yeah. all again yeah. this summer. Yeah, yeah, so it's nice to see so, that um, yeah. uh, both the, 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 the old and the new members uh, all seem to yes. be part of... We're of very close. Actually, tomorrow, uh, Luke is coming to uh, my place, so for just uh, having a drink and, and a nice talk. So, uh, yeah, it's cool that we have a very good um, relationship with all the members of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the original uh, lineup. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. So, um, I, you already mentioned the, the, the classic album, uh, Battlefields Behind You there. Um, for, for both of you, um, uh, you know, playing this this music, is there uh given a, such a classic album in Belgian metal history are there is there a particular song that you both really love playing live that you can't wait to play on shows again and or are you a little bit more um looking at new material that you guys are writing uh, or is there that one song that you really want to play again mm, for me it's um also of course the new songs but battlefield is my favorite one uh, because it has some kickers, uh, guitarists, and um, yeah, it's it's just it has a great vibe and um, it gives so much energy and uh, yeah, it's 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 really a cool song. I love to play uh, that song live. Yeah, well, for you it's into into the fire. <laughs> I know it already. <laughs> yeah, for me it's into the into the fire because it has the perfect mix of everything. You have the catchy shout chorus, you have the great melodic riffs, the great solos, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's an instant classic in my mind. So we've seen a new single, we know that the band is you know, working on new shows and maybe more. Um, all the fans, what should they know? What can you share with us? Well, uh, we're working on a full album. Uh, some weeks ago we did the drums. Um, all I can say it's it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be um, big sounds and uh, a lot of uh, 80s cheese. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, that sounds good to me. <laughs> the the full album is going to be nine tracks in total, and it's going to be yeah, it's gonna kick you right in the face for sure. All right. All right. So. Fans of the band uh, should have by now the new single, obviously. If not, they should get it. They should get the reissue of the Battlefields album that is coming out now. And um, they should know that a new album is coming out, which can only mean that now that the COVID restrictions are getting, um, you know, slowly but steadily, we'll get over the COVID restrictions and then we will see Scavenger on stages again as well. So exciting times. Awesome. (laughs) Well, Tina and uh, Tim, I want to thank you again so much uh, for being part of this project. Uh, it's great to see how popular, um, you know, old school Belgian metal has become again in many ways because of social media and people sharing videos and kind of similar to tape trading in the 80s, if you think about it. Uh, so that's awesome to see. So thank you again and congratulations again for being voted as one of the top 10 uh, Belgian bands. Uh, of the uh, 80s metal. Yes, that's cool. Thank you for your time. It was uh, a great talk. <laughs> Thank yes. you for the opportunity yeah. of talking to you. Yes. Great. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.